Thank you for watching Back Porch Wisdom with Pastor Rob Wynn. We pray that this weekly broadcast will be a blessing to you. And now here is Pastor Rob Wynn with today's message. Hi, this is Pastor Rob Wynn. I want to welcome you to Back Porch Wisdom. And I want to talk to you today by, about guarding your heart and whether God really has your heart. You know, in uh, Hebrews uh, chapter uh, 12, verse 1 says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily uh, beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And then in, he, in uh, Proverbs chapter 4, uh, verse uh, 23, he says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. One translation says, out of it flow the issues of life. And the first seven books of Proverbs, the Lord is, uh, a father is actually admonishing or uh, warning his son or instructing his son that uh, what he actually needs to do to stay on the right path and to do the right things and to walk righteously before uh, God the Father. And so that just struck my heart the other day to do it on a broadcast because Hebrew said there are weights. There's a run race to be run, but there are weights and there are sins that will easily beset us and get us off course or keep us from keeping our eyes on Jesus and uh, being continually conformed to His image and to uh, receive the promises that God has already established for us to have. And uh, so we need to make sure we're doing the, the things that are necessary to, uh, to rise in, in Christ and to, to, to uh, have God's best for our life. You know, in, uh, here in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4, when you look in verse 20, it says, My son, attend to my words, incline thine ears unto my sayings, let them not depart from thine eyes, Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Then it says, Keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of it uh, are the issues of life, or flow the issues of life. Keep away, these are instructions of what you shouldn't be doing. Put away from you a froward mouth or somebody that talks bad. It's not just talking about cussing. It's not. It's talking about uh, things that would be a disagreeable to the will of God. And uh, perverse lips put far from you. Let your eyes look right on and let your thine eyelids look straight before thee. In other words, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And so when you got born again, you got the measure of faith, but you need to continue on because it says He's the finisher of our faith. In other words, there's ground in between the start and the finish that, that needs to be brought together, so to speak. And, and so... Uh, you need to keep your eyes on Jesus. And the way you really keep your eyes on Jesus, you need to be an avid church attender. You need to be an avid reader of the Bible or listener to the Word. And, uh, and, and then you need to be somebody that is given to prayer and, uh, and, and to uh, listening for God to give you instructions and to obeying them. And so he goes on in verse 26 of Proverbs 4 and says, Ponder the path of thy ways, uh, 
ponder the path of thy feet and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand or the left hand. Remove thy feet from evil. Well, you know, in Numbers 11, it defines really evil uh, in uh, Numbers 13 where evil was something that deviated or went in a different direction from the will of God. And so in, in my opinion, in, in pastoring for over 25 years, I've seen that people, they think that, that uh, things are one way and they're not. In other words, it's appointed for man once to die and, and then to, uh, uh, you know, that we're not, we're, not, we're not appointed a time to be born and a time to die is what I'm trying to say. And so in order for you to know what's going to hinder you is, is that in Matthew 6, he's, he's from verse 25 down through verse 33, it admonishes us these are weights. When you're worried about what you're going to eat, you're worried about what you're going to get to drink, you're worried about what you're going to get to put on your back, and you're worried about all these other things that the, that the Gentiles are, are concerned about, things in the world, and, and you're not putting first God, in other words, is what he said. You need to put God first and His righteousness. And then he says, all these things are going to be added unto you. And he said, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. In other words, uh, he makes this analogy that, that the sparrows and the, the animals uh, get all these things provided for them, and you are more important than any animal. Yeah, uh, you know, it really, you know, to, my, to me, a lot of times people that are, uh, they're afraid about the whales going extinct or some animal going extinct, but they'll be pro-life. They won't be pro-life. They'll be pro-choice or pro-abortion. And, and, and people are more important. You're more important than, than anything to God. And He wants to supply you with the things that you have need of. And so, uh, first off, He wants you to have an intimate relationship with Him. And so, if you don't have an intimate relationship with Him, today is the day you need to, to take it up. You need to begin today to put God first. And so, let's pray. Say this with me. Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus is Lord and that You raised Him from the dead so that I could be saved. I believe it with my heart and I've said it with my mouth. It is a done deal. So go on Cornerstone Church, the number for the letter U dot com, and uh, look me up. If you're ever in the Linden, Alabama area, we invite you to worship with us at Cornerstone Church. For more information and other resources, visit our website at cornerstonechurchforyou.com.